just thought of. It is a mountain I must climb. I have to climb to the top of the mountain. I mean, some people will watch these videos and think they're absolutely funny. In a way, they are kind of funny. But in a way, they're really, really, really sad. And this is for every lonely person out here, out there that's got to deal with this on their own. I represent all of you. And I'm sure you feel exactly the way I feel. I never thought I'd be here at this age. I never thought that I would be dying of cancer. And I've given it the good fight. I've given it the good fight. I'm tired. I'm worn out. I just want some peace of mind. Some peace of mind, that's all I want. Where do I find it, can you tell me? I know if my house was all together and it was beautiful. You know, I had things organized in my life that this may be a lot easier. If I had a bathroom I could go into and step on the floor without freezing to death, I'm sure it would be a lot easier. Sorry I'm not, like, dressed up, made up. I try to do a few videos when I look good, but most of the time it just hits me in the middle of the night. I'm sitting alone in my house. I haven't been out it. Just in this house day after day. Two dogs, two cats, and me. If I'm lucky, somebody will call and say hello. Or somebody will text and say, how are you today? That's my human contact. I'm watching The Ellen Show. I catch that every day. At least it makes me laugh. And I dream about being on there, having her at me be on there. Stand up for cancer. I am the face cancer. And the world should see it. But it's one of these things that is cloistered away. We don't want to see the bad side of it. We don't want to hear about the bad side of it. We're not going to die. We're going to live forever. We're going to be young forever. We're never going to have any of these problems. But guess what? We do. We do. And I worked so hard all my lifetime. It's so ironic that I was a registered nurse and took care of very, very sick people and comforted them. And always said, I'll be there for you because it's terrible to be alone and to be dying and to be sick. And where am I? Dying, sick, and alone. Hi, it's so, so ironic, is it not? It's almost like it was God's will. It gave me the training so I can cope with myself. It's pretty wild. <clears throat> Okay, anyway, so I'm done for tonight. Add it to my other funny pilot videos. What was that? Funny girl. Funny girl. I guess that's me. See my sunny nights up there. Starry nights. Van Gogh. Starry, starry nights. They're not. They're not starry. There are clouds. Darkness. There is no light at the end of the tunnel right now. Am I dying today? No. Am I dying tomorrow? No. Do I look like a woman dying of cancer? Most people will tell you no. But I slowly feel it overtaking my body. I'm more tired any, every day. I don't have the get up and go that I used to have. I have always been such a hard worker and always trying to help my friends and always doing, 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 doing. And it's an effort to get up, go into the kitchen, have a cup of coffee. I spent all day doing four loads of laundry, stripping my king size bed, washing every bed spread, changing the sheets, and then I put two chrome shelves in one of my big closets and I put all my towels and extra sheets in there and 
I'm trying to organize my life, which it always has been very organized and neat and orderly. And this house is just like one mess after another because nothing is done. I thought all this stuff would be done. It's not. It's not. Will it ever get done? I, I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know anymore. <laughs> I wish I had a crystal ball. Well, I kind of have a crystal ball. Because I know death is coming. It's right around the corner. So in a way, I've been given the crystal ball. I've been allowed to look into the future. It's not the future that scares me. It's getting there. It's the loneliness, the sadness, the fear. It's just it's so many things. And there's nobody out there. And come in here and put their arms around me and say, I love you. I care. Let me share this pain with you. Let me go through it with you. That'll never happen. I'll never find that. <sighs> there we go. Snotty nose again. So, I guess that's the end of my story for today. I'm just looking at the lines on my face. They get worse. They etchy, etchy. I almost look like I'm lopsided, huh? I haven't even smiled. I'm not having a stroke. My eyes open. I can pull each ear. Yep. I stick up my ugly tongue. Just lovely, isn't it? <laughs> the nurse in me, I wanna be the nurse in me. I wanna take care of the people and make them well. Just like I wish somebody would come and do the same for me. Hey ho, hey ho, dee 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 do. Good night.